hello everyone welcome to the youtube channel and today we are going to solve a really really interesting maths problem from the inverse trigonometry section which is cos inverse of x divided by square root of x square plus a square and the target at hand is to basically reduce this in the simplest form possible so in order to reduce this in the simplest form possible We'll make some adjustment here, use some standard trigonometric formulas and then achieve our answer. But before I begin the solution here and solve this problem stepwise, let me request you to please, please, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as it gives us the confidence to come up with better videos every time. So let's start the solution of this problem here with a big smile on the face. Okay. So here we have cos inverse of x all divided by x square, square root of x square plus a square. Now I know for a fact that if somehow we are able to reduce this part which is inside the bracket in terms of cos theta, then this cos inverse and this cos can cancel out each other and then this theta here will be the final answer. So this is the approach that we will be starting this question here. So for that we'll have to substitute the value of x in terms of theta and the very best possible alternative that we can have is x is equal to a cot theta. So as soon as we substitute the value of x as a cot theta, let us see what magic happens. So here we'll have a cot theta whole divided by square root of a cot theta whole square plus a square. So this particular problem will then be cos inverse of a cot theta whole divided by square root of a square cot square theta plus a square. Now if you look closely we can take basically take out the a square part common from this particular section here. So this will be cos inverse of a cot theta whole divided by square root of a square taken is common so we'll have 1 plus cot square theta here now if you look closely then we can apply the standard trigonometric identity here which is 1 plus cot square theta can be taken as cos cosec square theta so this will be cos inverse of a cot theta whole divided by now let us skip a few steps so square root of a square will be a and the value of 1 plus cot square theta is cosec square theta uh, which inside the square root sign becomes cosec theta here so a and a will get cancelled out now let us convert the value of cot theta and cosec theta in terms of cos and sine so cot theta can be written as cos theta divided by sine theta and 1 upon cosec theta is sine theta. So sine theta and sine theta will get cancelled out. So in the last we are left with cos inverse of cos theta and as I mentioned in the beginning that cos inverse and cos will get cancelled out. So the only thing that we are left with is a theta in the last. But this, my friend, is not the final answer because this theta has been introduced by us. The question was designed in x. So let us go back to where we started. That is, x was equal to a cot theta. So from here, we can calculate the value of cot theta, which is x divided by a. So that means the value of theta will be cot inverse, cot inverse of x divided by a. So let us substitute the value of theta here. That means the final answer to this question, my friend, is cot inverse of x divided by a. So this is the final answer that we have achieved. So I just hope that you really like this video. For more such videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.